Hello, family, and welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Golong, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Today's topic, mob mentality. Mob mentality. And mob stands for making others better. Uh, and my support scripture for this is, the poor useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. Okay, so guys, um, I've had a couple of talks today uh, and many times before about, you know, dealing with, you know, the guys here and trying to figure out how we continue to move forward without having issue, you know, um, because it's a different culture that I'm in now. So it's it's different from the American culture. And for all who know about the American culture, it's, uh, you know, an eye for eye, most likely an eye for an eye. Uh, but here, you know, things are a lot different, you know, uh, and I, I see it as people needing help. People are great, proud and strong, but people also need help. Um, and, you know, talking to my friend today, you know, we had we both have uh, companies and, you know, he has his issues and I have uh, mine. And what we were talking about is when people make mistakes or people make errors, you know, how to judge them, how to, you know, correct the behavior. And, uh, you know, his was a little bit more direct. And and I get that. Yes, I understand why you have to be direct, because some people would take advantage. Some people would not appreciate. Some people uh, would be negligent uh, to the fact. Uh, and me, I, I, I understood exactly what he was saying when, you know, he, he was saying, yeah, be direct and, you know, move on if you have to. And, you know, I offered up my opinion as well. And, you know, my thoughts were, you know, to have more understanding and patience. Um, and, I, and I say that because coming from a Western uh, world, you know, we have a lot of training. You know, um, it's it's amazing the amount of knowledge you get uh, from the Western uh, world. You know, so that is a, a compliment to, you know, what is behind, you know, not all things are great things, but you get a vast knowledge of how a lot of things work and how a lot of things are to be conducted. And this helps you navigate a lot better. Uh, and, and here, you know, uh, not so as much, you know, uh, they have definitely great knowledge on specific uh, things and, and they can excel in that. Uh, but Knowledge of all things, you know, what it was is uh, uh, knowledge of all things and a master of none. I, I think I've heard that quote before. And, you know, that that's the American way, right? We know a whole lot about a lot of things, but uh, one specific thing sometimes we, we are not going to be a master at. But uh, these people here, they're more of masters in a particular trait or a particular skill set. And, you know, you as a... Uh, as an entrepreneur coming here or you as a, a person that is, you know, coming to do anything in the community here, you have to understand that, that, you know, we may be taking a person out of an environment where, you know, what we would think is normal and something to be able to, oh, yeah, that, you got that. That's something easy. You know, it's not as easy to them because they have not been a, around. Uh, they don't have... Um, you know, some of that, you know, worldly knowledge that we have and you have to be mindful of that, and, you know. Um, and, and so I, I say all that to get back to the point of, you know, being able to deal with people who don't have as, as much knowledge and as much resources as you being forgiven, uh, you know, when things get broken. You know, when things don't go uh, the way they should go, you know, and they're not always being quick to fire or being quick to uh, let go and being quick to uh, chastise or bring judgment on uh, into a situation, um, you know, and it's it's having that understanding when you come here that will allow you to build the relationships I think are necessary and healthy uh, to continue moving forward within the community in any space you may, uh, you know, come across while you're here. Uh, 
And, and so, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. And so pointing back to this scripture as the poor useth entreaties, you know, you're going to try to negotiate when somebody um, that doesn't have the amount of resources, uh, you know, would, would have an accident or would, would come up with something that they're, they're trying to negotiate because guess what? Nobody has, you know, a ton of money to come out of the pocket to replace something that may be broken or uh, to, you know, repair the damage that one may have caused. And, you know, Please keep an open mind if you're coming to the continent or if you're going to do something of that nature, because, you know, sometimes we would, you know, it's an eye for an eye in America. You know, you break some of mine, you pay for some of mine. And, you know, um, we're very fortunate in America to have a lot more resources. And so coming here, you have that understanding that, hey, not everybody is going to be able to take care of the things, uh, you know, as quickly, as swiftly or even at all. Uh, that you have. So, you know, you protect yourself at all time and you make sure that things are right, but you just have to have that understanding. Uh, and with that being said, the second part of that scripture, you know, it gets right into it. Uh, but the rich answers roughly, you know, the rich, you know, when you have, you know, you know, it's just uh, the arrogance, the pride, uh, the pump. Of all of it that you, you know, people would look down their noses at people of like, ah, why are you dirtying up this or why you're messing up this? You shouldn't even be here in this area, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And I don't have to go into all of that. I just wanted to point that out that, you know, when you come to a place as this, do not look down on people. Uh, yes, we have to hold people accountable, but sometimes you know, you are forgiven for a lot of the things that you've done. Allow them to be forgiven for some of the errors that they may make. You know, f search your heart and see what God is saying to you. You know, can't you forgive somebody who, who may cost you a couple of bucks? You know, can you get over that instance? You know, sometimes it's going to be on you. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, it was a story of, you know, my friend, you know, somebody had, you know, pretty much ran into his car, you know, and uh, ended up hurting himself. And guess what? He had to take him to the hospital and, you know, put a little money uh, with him, you know, for his care. And then he had to pay for his own window to be fixed. So think about that, guys. Think about what kind of heart uh, a person has to have to do things like that, to give like that, to be understanding like that. That's the heart of the Most High. And I pray we all can seek and search uh, and, and try to be, you know, in that realm of thinking, understanding, and caring for one another. So, family, I appreciate you for listening. And as always, enjoy the journey.